Hello my dolls and welcome once again to the cello doll channel. This is another cello tutorial. You guys had such great reactions to the first one that I couldn't wait. If you guys happen to miss that tutorial, it was about how to sit with your instrument. You can find that link right up here. Now before I get to the topic, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the cello doll channel so you can stay updated on all of my uploads. We got all that jazz out of the way. Let's get into thumb position. Yeah! I absolutely love thumb position. I think it's a holy grail secret and I really wish it was incorporated sooner rather than later. Beginners can and should be playing in thumb position. Don't get mad at me, but seriously, this is like my opinion and <laughs> we all have different opinions and that's why we have different teachers. So I owe my love for thumb position to my second cello teacher. She gave me a book and we just went with it. I just thought this was another tool in the cello toolbox and that's really how you should view thumb position. You shouldn't view it as something that is super difficult. We're going to go through some thumb position basics that even beginners can be set up well. So we are gonna start with our hand in first position. If you don't know what first position is yet, this might be too advanced of a video and I would recommend checking out some other beginner videos. But we're gonna find first position, all four fingers, down and then what you're actually going to do is bring up the thumb what what crazy bring up the thumb and notice how my arm is coming up with the thumb i'm not just reaching my whole arm is moving as a unit my fingers are still curved you see that i'm gonna do that one more time a little slower my fingers are still curved and i'm going to take that thumb and put it behind my first finger. So what part of my thumb is touching the string? The side of the thumb on the skin. You might feel some of your nail on the string, but you're mostly going to feel skin to avoid thumb pain. If this is a new technique, do not practice it more than five to 10 minutes at a time. We don't want to strain our hands. So I'm going to start that one more time. We're going to find our first position and we are going to put the thumb behind. Notice my arm is a straight line. In my last video I talked about straight lines. They're everywhere. So no wrist popping up, no wrist dipping down. Now I want you to imagine there's a gust of wind behind you and it pushes your wrist. Guys, you're in thumb position and we slide it back down. If you're worried about your wrist shaking, sometimes when students do this, they distort or slide. Your hand shape should not change. What you can do is take your right hand, put it lightly on the wrist as a guide and actually push it. Notice my straight line is staying. I'm not, do not do that. <laughs> It's a huge thing that I always look out for. You want to keep the straight line like a tabletop from the top by the nut all the way down to the end of the fingerboard and come back. You can do that a couple times to warm up. Honestly, this exercise is mostly for your arm because once we start sliding up, you're right by the shoulder. So often people are inhibited because their arm droops. If you keep the arm up, you're never going to have a problem with your cello shoulder getting in your way if you have big shifts. And I'm not focusing on playing a pitch, what kind of notes are going on. I'm focusing on form. We can take our hand off the cello, give it a light shake. Give those muscles a chance to flex in different ways. You can shake your wrist this way. Ooh, that looks really wobbly. And give the thumb a little rotation. Okay, so variations on this exercise. We're going to go back into our first position and we are going to lift up the pinky. So I have one, two, and three down. We're going to bring up the thumb. So my fingers are curved. If you notice, they're kind of pointing down towards the bridge. I'm not trying to keep it sideways still. 
Down, keeping that arm level and back up. I'm sure you guys can guess what's coming next. We're gonna go back to first position. Take off four and three. Now we just have two. Put the thumb on top. Do I have a tabletop arm? Yep. Slide down, slide up. And last but not least, we're gonna have our first finger. So I'm gonna bring the thumb up and notice my first finger gets curved like crazy. It almost looks like a pianist's finger. And we're gonna slide it down and slide it back up. So how can we strengthen the thumb? We go back to the first position, pop up the thumb, slide down about halfway and just do little bounces. One, two, three, four. Now you notice my arm is moving. Your whole arm, that is your source of weight. And I sink. I don't do this though. I sink and I keep my tabletop. One, two, three, four. And you can do that using all the different fingers in the different variations that we discussed. And the arm helps. If you try to push it with just your thumb, you're actually gonna be squeezing. So really, the bouncing from the arm in combination with the sliding will help to get your thumb ready for thumb position. Have a great time sliding up and down on that thumb position, slide. I don't know what that was, but I hope you had fun watching this video. As always, leave any questions in the comments. I am the Cello Doll. You can find me here on YouTube as well as Instagram and Facebook. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and your support is always amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!